use the knife to shave it. Hey what's up guys, welcome to a new video where today we're going to be making a fruit salad. Now, I know this is not baking but it's been my birthday this month and I really wanted to make something personalised for me and I love fruit and I love all kinds of just fruit salads so let's get into the recipe. So first you might want to use grapes or you could use strawberries or you could use blueberries. Another suggestion is kiwi and another one is orange. I really love orange and then you might want to use a bit of a melon. This one's a cantaloupe. It's a really nice one that I've loved for years but you can use a different one. And also you want a big glass or ceramic dish for when you finish the fruit salad and to put everything in. Also you might want a chopping board and a sharp knife. I love this one because it's a brilliant corrugated knife and it's great for chopping tomatoes and all sorts of fragile veg so this will be good for the kiwi. And also, if you're using apple, which I'm not today, you might want to use an apple corer. Basically, this goes down an apple, and then you can take the core out, and then you have a really great, easy apple to use. So, now we've got all our fruits here. Um, we've got all of them washed that need to be washed. And we're gonna start with the grapes. So the grapes, basically what you can do is you just halve these. So, these just turn into brilliant little halves and then they can just go to one side where you get the whole bowl and then they'll go to the side. So I'll just speed this bit up. Now we've got all these grapes cut, really beautiful. Uh, we're just gonna put them into the bowl. So it's a bit hard to do this. It would be better if chopping boards were curved, but you can't have everything in life, so just stop moaning, Mike, and just move on. Now we've got all of those. That's all cut up, and it's ready to go into the fruit salad when we need to. One, two, three. One, two, three. So you don't need to actually do the blueberries because they're small enough that they're actually quite bite-sized. So now we're gonna move on to the kiwi. So to do with the kiwi, we're going to cut off the ends really thinly so we just have this horrible little stump cut off. Don't want that on there. And there might be a little corey bit so you just want to go out a bit and then you can even eat that if you want. So now we've got that and now you could use a knife to shave it. But instead, you could just use one of these peelers um, to do it. You could use the knife, but you could just use the peeler and you can just get to the edge and just shave this. So it takes quite a while. If you try and do it as thin as possible, it works really well. Um, and then you get to the next bit. So I'll just speed this up quickly. Okay, so guys, we've just shaved this kiwi um, he's looking very slimy and he is very slimy in fact he is just all over the place so we're going to hold our kiwi tight and we're going to put our fingers here uh, straight down um, and we're just going to cut along and we get a really nice kiwi slice and we're going to do this all along the kiwi you can make them thinner to make more of them but if you have another kiwi there's no point I've just realised that we've got another kiwi here that we still need to do. So, with the power of editing... So now, um, we've got all our kiwi in the bowl, ready to go in the fruit salad later. So now we're going to move on to the oranges. Okay, so now we've got our orange. So, we're just going to go into the orange skin a bit with a knife just so we can get our finger under it. So we're just gonna make a little flap. So I'm gonna do that here. So now we've got access to the inner orange and we can really get all the skin off and get it without the skin. And then we can do some cutting and things with the orange. So I'll just speed this up. So now we've got our orange and we're just gonna break this up so we've got all the segments. So you'll be able to do this without a knife. It's just by peeling. You might get the odd weird one, 
but you can always eat that. And I love orange because it's just a really nice citrusy flavour while not being horribly tangy. It's just got that nice sweetness to it. So now we've got all our segments. What you could do if you want to is you can make, uh, if you, you can cut them in half. So you get little mini segments. It's really simple because it's just an orange and you could probably do this in under a minute and it's really thin. But try not to push too hard. A corrugated knife as well is really good for this. Um, because it stops it from squirting out all its juice everywhere. And now we've got all that done, but again, like with the kiwi, we've still got another orange that we've got to do. We can do it with the power of editing. Okay, that should do it. So now we have our cantaloupe melon as the last. But you can wa use watermelon. I just like cantaloupe because it's nice and small and easy to use. And now we're gonna get a quarter of this melon because it's quite big, so we just wanna use a little bit. So now we're just gonna cut down the middle. And we're gonna cut it practically in half. It doesn't have to match up with the lines on the melon. It just has to be nice and straight, which I'm not doing very well with, of course. <coughs> so, you can see I haven't cut this very well because I'm in a rush, but... <coughs> so, now we're going to get this upside down and just cut it once again. And you can use any type of knife. I'm just using the small knife because it's pre preventing me from having to do loads of washing up and um, it's just very good but you can use a big knife if you're using a bigger melon. So now with all of these seeds you're just gonna get the knife and swerve them out and you won't get all of them out most of the time so you just want to go again and get these out and it takes a while, you might even want to use a spoon um, to do this but uh, eventually we should be able to do this um, if you can't get the seeds off if it's being really hard you might want to use some water uh, just to wash it off a bit but now we've got that all clear I'm just gonna put these to the side we're gonna cut this down the middle I'm gonna go across And we're not going all the way through the melon, so hopefully you can just push on the back and you've got all of these popping out, which is really easy to now just cut off. So we've got all these sections, they might actually come apart, um, and you can just cut these off. So it's a really nice and easy, simple way to cut melon. So if you have any uh, seeds on a bit that you want to keep, you can always just, again, go to the tap and wash it off. So I'm just going to speed this up. We don't really have that much melon here, so I'm just going to pop this in the bowl. But the good thing about the melon is we only use a little bit, so we can always go back and get a bit more. So we're going to do another quarter of this. Now here's a bit of footage of me eating a piece of melon. Now we've got all our ingredients finished. I guess we'll just start putting it into the bowl. So now guys, we're gonna put everything in the bowl. We've got our blueberries. Uh, we'll just throw in the melon because there's not much of that. We'll throw in a bit of orange. I love my kiwi, so we're just gonna chuck that in. And then some grapes. Yeah, we've got space for blueberries, so we'll just chuck that in as well. Now we're gonna just get a spoon and just mix this all together uh, to get it evenly mixed so you don't get loads of one thing and not loads of the other. So now to keep track of uh, how much orange juice we're putting in, we're just gonna measure a half pint. So we've got that there, so that's half a pint. And we're just gonna 
put that in, see how it does. So we can see that it's only got up to there. So we want to kind of get it close to the top. So we're going to do another one. And the good thing about using a measuring, measuring jug is you know exactly how much you've put in. And now that's perfect. So really, if you just keep track of how many half pints you put in, you can make sure that you get a good amount. And this is a pint. So also with the fruit being in it, it will actually deceive you. So uh, because it takes up more surface area and sciencey stuff. So basically you don't need as much as you actually think you need. Let's give it a try. So now we're gonna use a ladle. This is, um, if you haven't seen a ladle before, which I doubt you haven't, it's a very cool little serving spoon. And you use it a lot for things like porridge and for soup. Let's go try it. enjoyed please hit the like button and please share it with your friends check out the merch as well and we're just gonna try this so what do you think i've gotta say the flavors are really good i'm still really sad that sainsbury's sold out of strawberries though sainsbury's why would you do that to us you horrible horrible people thanks for watching the video check out the merch like the video share it and make sure you subscribe and turn that notification um, button on as well. That's really important so you get all the videos because if it's just there in your subscriptions, you might not see it. People have lots of subscriptions nowadays. Use that bell, turn it on, and we'll see you next time. Also check out English quality films for the outtakes and bloopers. Wait, why are you still here? Jesus Christ. Go away. Leave. Come on. That's enough, dude. <laughs>